Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Emmanuel Laska and Milan Widmar. This game was played in St. Petersburg in 1909. Milan Widmar played with black pieces in this game, was Slovenian born grandmaster. He was also Yugoslav chess champion in 1939. Let's have a look at the game. Emanuel Laska started with e4. Milan Widmar played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to b5. Spanish opening. d6. Steinitz defense. d4. Threatening d5. Bishop to d7. Unpinning. Knight to c3. e takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. And now g6, intending bishop to g7. Bishop to e3, bishop to g7, queen to d2, knight to f6, f3, Widmar castled kingside, and Emmanuel Laska castled queenside, opposite side castling. a6, attacking the bishop, bishop to e2, b5, the pawn storm on the queen side, h4. Have a good look at this position. Just place the pawn which is now on c7, on e7, and you have the Sicilian dragon variation of the Sicilian defense. Black to move, knight to e5, bishop to h6, knight to c4, some critics say that bishop takes bishop on h6 is better move. Knight to c4. Bishop takes knight. Pawn takes bishop. h5. c6. Let's take it back. If knight takes pawn on h5, then bishop takes bishop. If knight takes on g7, then queen to h6 and white is winning. And if after bishop takes on g7, king takes on g7, then g4 attacking the knight, and after knight to f6, queen to h6 check, king to g8, knight to d5, and again, white is winning. Back to our game. After h5 we have c6, bishop takes on g7, king takes bishop, h takes on g6, f takes on g6, knight on d to e2, rook to f7, what else? If d5 is played, then queen to h6 check, and after king to g8, e5. So we have rook to f7, queen takes pawn on d6, queen to b6 intending, rook to b8, and queen takes pawn on b2 check. Queen to d4 c5, attacking the queen, what is the best square for the queen? What would you do? Perhaps the queen takes pawn on c4 comes to mind, do you agree? Emmanuel Aska played a very cool move. Knight to d5, attacking black queen, queen to b7. If c takes on d4, Knight takes on b6, attacking the rook, and after rook to b8, knight takes pawn on c4. And white is winning. Back to our game. After knight to d5, we have queen to b7. Queen to c3, pinning the knight on f6. Rook from a to f8. Knight takes knight. Rook takes knight. White to move white. Play the move and black resigned. What would you do? Please pause the video and try to guess the move that Emmanuel Aska played in this position. What did you find? Emmanuel Aska played rook to d6 and Milan Widmar resigned. One line goes like this. Bishop to e8. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. Knight to f4, intending. 
knight to d5, bishop to f7, and now rook takes pawn on h7 check, king takes rook, queen takes rook on f6, and what can black do now, push the pawn, then b takes on c3, perhaps queen to d7, then one of the moves is e5, knight to h3 was also possible. Black has a hopeless position and he is also two pawns down. That is why Milan Widmar resigned in this position. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.